Amanda here with Spencer Whipple and Sean Goldstein. Hi guys, welcome. Our first question is for Spencer from JP Kane. Are you a Browns fan now? Uh, yeah, actually I am. Uh, I just called my dad actually and asked him to send me down some gear. So hopefully that'll be here soon. But yeah, I've, I've been switching teams since I've been born. So, but I'm definitely a Browns fan now. We have a comment from Island Canes. Spencer, how's it going with the new O? Great, uh, really good. Um, the transition's been great with Coach Fish. Uh, he's a really cool coach. Uh, we're getting along together really well. And, uh, you know, the offense is coming together. We're just trying to pick it up and just uh, focus on workouts right now and get ready for spring ball. We have a comment from TMB Kane for both of you. Do the players love Coach Golden's hair as much as the fans do? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I haven't really heard too much about the hair. I guess that's a, the fan thing, but we haven't. I really heard too much about it, but yeah, he, he does have good. nice hair. Yeah. Um, what hobbies do you guys do besides? Um, I'm a big outdoors guy, like because of football, fishing, fishing more. Fishing. So it's nice to be down here in the Everglades and stuff like that. You know, that's yeah. Right. Where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, hobbies, I'm not sure. I guess just. I like to play video games, just watch TV, my favorite shows whenever I get a chance away from football. What's your uh, favorite show? Um, I have to say The Office. I just watched that again today. It's one of my favorites. Such a good episode. Spencer, I heard from Morris that you are the biggest gym rat of the team. Is this true? Uh, I guess that's for others to decide. I just um, try to do, you know, give my best, everything we, we do, what Swayze gives us. and. Uh, I enjoy working out and lifting in the workouts. That's something I really take pride in. And, um, you know, I enjoy waking up and coming here every day, so. One Love Canes wants to know, can you guys convince Coach to use helmet stickers? Uh, I don't know. I guess I guess the U is pretty traditional on the helmet. I kind of like the way that looks as it is. I don't think we need to yeah. be helmet like any other team. Not. Comment from U305 Swagger. Sean, what do you like about playing linebacker? What do I like about playing linebacker? I like that you get to hit people. I never really liked playing offense. I always felt like, you know, I was getting hit when I was younger. And, you know, you have more freedom to roam around and make plays. All About the U wants to know, how are you guys doing in Utah? Good. Um, it's been... Just like the name says, it's been really tough. Uh, nothing like we've ever done here. I mean, in the past, I guess something different. And uh, it's been going really well. That we've seen improvement from everybody. Has been getting better each week, every day, which is good. And uh, it's been going really well. Sean, who would you rather play with, Chuck Norris or Ray Lewis? I've been a Miami fan forever since both my parents actually went to school here. So. Definitely Ray Lewis has been a big fan forever. What's the hardest workout in the Utah program? Uh, I think all of them are. Just, just the fact that it's like a continuous um, circuit between each station, just with no breaks, kind of. There's not really one station where it's any easier than the others. They're all, you know, really tough, so. Goldstein. You made some plays last spring and really stood out. Will you make some noise this year? I'm hoping so. With all the work, you know, everybody's doing, I'm, I'm hoping I make some plays. And, you know, I just want to do whatever I can do to help out the team this year. Um, comment from Chris to both of you. Who has rung your bell the hardest in practice? Um, I think Bailey got me. Alan Bailey got me a couple uh, last year in scout team. Uh, I was doing quarterback for Georgia Tech, and he, I thought, you know, there was no one there, and he, just, his arm just came out of nowhere and kind of. I'd say, a couple years back, probably Daryl Sharpton when I first came in with the linebacker drills. He, he hits pretty good. He's got a heavy head for some reason. Um, comment from number one, Kane Spencer. How far can you throw the ball? Um, I'm not. Too sure. Not not a great distance, I don't think. Uh, I guess if I had to say, probably about, I don't know, 55, 60 yards maybe. 
Steven, Steven's got that one. He throws it about 80, 7 or 80. Comment from Tim Tebble. Sean, is it true you would get mad when they called you Tebow? Yeah, I mean, it kind of caught me off guard because I never really heard that one, I guess, because you no know, Florida thing coming down here. I never really heard it from my friends back at home, but I just at some point stopped answering to it, and everybody kind of got tired of trying to call me by it. So. Comment from Scott Z. I was never good at linebacker or QB in high school. I think there's a spot for me as a water boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on. I mean, yeah, our, our training staff does a great job with the water, but, I mean, you always need that, that fast, you know, speed to get on, on and off the field during timeouts, so look into it. <laughs> Comment from Greg, how bad do you guys and the rest of the players want those black jerseys? Uh, really bad, actually. Um, it's something that, you know, since we started, I've been thinking about just because uh, there's a limited number of, of jerseys to get. And uh, it's just like a goal you set for yourself, and you know it helps you compete against everyone else. And uh, I've been thinking about it since we started. Yeah, I mean, it definitely it shows who's going to step up and who's competing. And you know, you definitely want to be the top dog in your group and your team. So. Comment from Island Keynes: Who is faster in the forty, Spence or Sean? I, I don't know. I guess we got to race. We'll have to ask Swayze. We're, we're gonna. I think we're gonna test forties in a little bit. So with Swayze, so we'll, we'll know for sure in a, in, a, in a little while. You had to guess. I would guess Spencer probably has me <laughs> by a little bit. Um, comment from Gus three hundred five. Spencer, what kind? What type of impact do you want to make this year? Uh, any impact I can. I just uh, want to do anything I can to you know. Get on the field and help the team, whether it's you know holding and or anything I can do. It's my last year, and I just you know I'll, I'll do anything to uh, help out. Comment from guest Sean: Do you have any thoughts on the incoming class of 2000, 2010 LB recruits? Um, I'm assuming they're good. I, I don't really know much about them, you know, since I guess I'm three years out of high school now, so. Other than my little brother's high school games, I haven't really paid that much attention to too many what's going on in high school football. Comment from T in South Miami. Sean, who is the hardest RB to tackle? Who's the hardest RB to tackle? Huh. They all do something different. I would say Mike. Mike James is probably, you know, he's definitely real strong, real hard to bring down. He doesn't give up. Cuban Kane wants to know, are either of you going to the baseball game tonight? Uh, I was thinking about it, actually. Um, you know, I stay in the village, so it's, it's really close. I might I might walk over there. Um, I can't make it. I got to go to uh, my dad's birthday dinner. He came down from Philadelphia, so I could go spend a little bit of family time tonight. <laughs> um, comment from J.P. Kane. Can you guys turn the tables and ask Amanda a question? Yes. Please provide a question, or we'll ask. You got any questions? You guys can think on it. It's fine. We'll wait. Comment from hers ain't Spence. What are the QBs doing outside of workouts to improve timing with WR and cut down mistakes? Um, well, we've been going out in the afternoon and uh, throwing routes, uh, the new routes that have been installed, and uh, just getting some timing down. Uh, with the receivers, running backs, uh, footwork, we've been doing some individual drills, just getting together by ourselves, me, Steven, and Ja'Cory, and um, just doing that every afternoon, which has been good. Spencer, which player on the offensive side of the ball will have a breakout season in 2011? Uh, hopefully all of them. Um, let's try to think of one. Everyone's working really hard. Uh, the receivers look, looked really good today when we were throwing. Um, I think Mike James has been working really hard. Um, he did really well last year. Hopefully he, uh, you know, continues that. Okay, comment from All About the U. Spencer, what do you want to do after football, following your dad's footsteps? Uh, possibly. It's an option. Um, I've always kind of wanted to, to be around football, and um, continuing that as a coach is something I definitely thought about. Uh, 
We'll just have to decide after this season. Just focused on this year right now. Mike, the situation wants to know who is the most intense coach in the staff. Uh, I don't know. They're all they're all pretty intense. Coach Brown is pretty intense after playing in the NFL for so long. Coach Shanafrio is pretty intense too. He's kind of like a. A lot of the coaches that came in are like Northeast Philadelphia, New Jersey type guys, which is what I grew up around, and it's a pretty like tough group to deal with. Comment from Chad. Um, you said that you play video games. Are you a Call of Duty or Madden? Both, both Call of Duty, Madden, NCAA. Uh, those are actually a few games that I do play when I get some time. Comment from Gus305, can you guys throw up the U for the fans? Comment from Mike, the situation. My question, Amanda, who is your favorite player on the team? Um, after today's interviews, probably Ja'Cory Harris. Sorry, guys. It's all good. Um, and, you, and Sean Goldstein and Spencer. Um, you 305 Swagger, what's the toughest road, what's toughest on the road environment? Um, I think just, uh, it's, it's different playing, you know, away than from home. Got to get in an airplane or, or take a long bus ride. And then once you get there, it's a little bit of a different setting with the, with the hotel. And then once you get to the game, um, all the fans there really, really don't like you at all. So it's, it's kind of a... But you just got to block it out and try to treat it like it's any other game. And um, I think that's how you're successful on the road. Sebastian is my homeboy, is wondering, Sean, which lineman would you least like to get blindsided by? Which lineman would I least like to get I guess the easiest answer is Central because he's the biggest by far. Kale Kane, Spencer, has Tate spoken to you uh, or the other QBs yet? Um, I actually just met him briefly when, when he uh, was on his visit, but um, I'm not sure if he's you know talked with the other Q QBs or not. I just met him uh, really quick. He seems like a really cool kid. Comment from PD: Who would win an arm wrestling match between the two of you? Can you prove it? Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> my arms are kind of sore. Yeah. Me. In the Utah, maybe well, at the end. Who would win? Speculate, I guess. I think it'd be pretty even. We we always we, we lift together when we work out, so we have like the I don't know. He might get me though. He's a linebacker. <laughs> Linebacker's supposed to be, you know, kill the quarterback. So. Comment from Ken Dorsey. Who are your favorite former Canes? Ken Dorsey. <laughs> He's my favorite actually. Um. Say Ray Lewis and then Ed Reed, a lot of the guys. I follow the Ravens a lot and you know, just a lot of the big hitters on defense. Comment from Miami Man, what do you think about Sean Trell playing a little fullback? <laughs> Fridge. Maybe near the goal line, yeah, if, if we need a yard or an inch. Uh, I think maybe you'd give him the ball, he'd stretch out and get get whatever we need. Comment from Debo. Sean, which LB position do you feel most comfortable in? Um, I've played middle linebacker most of my career throughout high school, but honestly, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable playing any of them. And you know, wherever I need to play to get some time and help the team out, I'm willing to do. Any thoughts on Blake Ailey's? What should fans expect from him? Uh, Blake, he's he's a really cool kid. Um, we've been hanging out and. Uh, He's a really nice, nice guy, and uh, he's he's looked really well, really good on, on the field, running routes. Um, he's really fast and in and out of cuts and catching the ball really well. Last question for these guys: Who is the biggest ladies' man on the team? Oh, oh man. I think there's a lot of guys who talk a big game, um, so it's kind of hard to figure it out, but. Um, I'd say That's still up for team. debate, I guess. It's up for debate. Yeah. Okay. Play it safe. <laughs> well, thanks for all your continued support. Thanks.
fans for watching. Thank you.